body. She is, uh, you know, she's in... Ken, be sure to do your reviews. Well, first watch the movie. You don't need to review this first one, just watch the first one, then the second one, okay? I'm about to do an episode now. But well, hello there, and good and talk to you all, and welcome to another episode of Halloween in January with me, Dr. Flip. And when I don't perform illegal body mods or surgeries, I'm usually here reviewing the movies. Horror movies, of course. So, today I review Julia, written and directed by Matthew A. Brown, starring Ashley C. Williams, from the Human Centipede film. The first one, of course. Now, where do I begin in this movie? Well, pretty much like I spit on your grave, it is a rape revenge thriller. But it definitely has its dark horror elements, of course. Yeah. Very dark horror elements indeed. So it's basically Ashley C. Williams. She plays the title character. You see, I wanted to go in a different approach in reviewing films. You know, take a break from the whole supernatural thing and focus on the psychological thing. So Ashley C. Williams plays the titled character, Julia, uh, who is invited to this gathering with some young men and, well, huh. Things take a very dark turn when she is drugged and sexually raped. And then her lifeless body, which is revived just before the one man leaves her body. She is, uh, you know, she then feels violated and dirty and goes into the shower. And of course, that is when she plots her revenge. And, of course, she does make them men pay for their actions, because I don't do these kind of things to ladies that are alive or anything of that kind, because revenge is very, very... Well, karma can be very much of a bitch when it's that kind of stuff. So, she basically, pretty much like I spit on your grave, she goes out on the revenge spree with the help of some... Strange people. She works by day as a nurse, but then goes out as a dark revenge person, punishing those who attacked her. Now, what I like about the movie is not only the good cinematography and stuff. I mean, this movie was direct to DVD, but it stars Ashley C. Williams and ever since I saw her work in the Human Centipede movie, I had to see other things she's in. But she does not, hasn't done that many movies just yet. I think she's only starting to begin to make a name for herself. Um, but yeah, I think the, her acting now in the centipede movie, she had to do a lot of acting with her eyes as she could not talk much or something. But in this movie, she also acts with those eyes. What eyes she has, they are just amazing. She does the most superb acting with those eyes. And I can honestly tell you, she did a great job in the movie. In fact, she didn't need to say many lines at all because of her facial expressions. She's one of those gifted actresses that can just do it simply with the gaze. So, yeah, uh, that was, so those were my final thoughts. Now for the ratings. I am going to give Julia, let me see, you know, because I find these movies very empowering to women, you know, um, because it's like the woman finally standing up for herself and getting revenge. So with that being said, I am going to give Julia, uh, I'm going to give it five, no, not that time, uh, the camera just ran out of some memory, but yeah, I am going to give Julia three and a half, um, yeah. Three and a half um, razor blade, 
you uh, reds, blood soaked reds blades in the shower out of five. So that is my score, and I recommend this movie, but it's not for the eerie sighted. But if you're into all those kind of movies, rape revenge thrillers, I recommend that to you. So yeah, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the official Random Horror YouTube channel. And until tomorrow, I will bid you all half feet say goodbye, huh? Yeah, we've done this again. Let's see how Franken is getting on with watching 28 days later than 28 weeks later.